Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of this 1.18 Let's Play. So I just hopped on the server right now because Sam actually messaged me and said that he found a perfect place for us to set up base. So I'm gonna get back up to the surface and go meet up with him and check it out. Close. <laughs> I almost like crit you with my axe and then I realized, wait a minute, <laughs> it's probably not the best decision. This is, so this you is have, nice. You have mountain up there to the right. There's your sparse jungle biome over there. That's weird. You have, this This is a peninsula that goes out into a massive deep river. Oh, wow, this is big. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, so yeah, here's the big river. Wait, and there's some wait, sort wait. of aquifer in here too. I haven't looked into much. Um, I don't know Wait, where you went. Uh, right here. Okay, I oh, want to get a little height to see just how big this is. Whoa, this is really big. So yeah, if you if the best way the best place to see is over here, if you follow me. So there's a lot of expansion over here. Oh, this awesome is oh, okay. I really I do like this over here. The savanna is ugly. I will say the savanna is ugly. Yeah, which is why I didn't want savanna. So this is technically not. And then here's the fjord. Look oh, at that. River in river. oh, this is pretty good. And I move quickly in it. Oh, you, you know what we thing. could do? No, yeah. We could even put soul soil for the fjord because it would look really cool for that because it'd be sort of a muddy, wavy texture. And all I know is quickly through it. And welcome, welcome to the jungle. Welcome <laughs> to the jungle. You just wanted to say that this is not the kind of jungle that deserves a welcome to the jungle. No, it's not. But and actually, then, it's the right amount of jungle. It's enough to like give us the resources yeah. and give us. And then the that's screen. what the peninsula looks like down here. Isn't that gorgeous? Ah, the savanna is so annoying, but yes, it is. And so yeah, that's that's the that's what I mean by a massive river. Okay, I did, that mountain's really epic. It is this pretty forested epic. Forested area is good up here, and I really do like the water. And then there's flat area as well. So yes. I'm trying to think, what I want to do this season is I want to make sort of a Victorian style country house, kind of what you'd see in Jane Austen and stuff like that, because the uh -huh. nice thing about that is I could make a central area and then I could just add wings onto it for brewing and brewing. library and stuff like that. And, and actually, we can go up to the mountain, but let's go up to the mountain and we can see the surrounding lands too. Okay. See, doesn't that look, doesn't that peninsula just look nice? I really do like this. Yeah, it's... And what's cool about this, it sort of geographically feels right because it does this turn. It feels like the water uh -huh. flow really would be carving into the side of the I know, area, yeah. And then a flat area on the other side. It just, it makes sense. Whoa. It is a local oh, map. Yeah. These, you know what, this are... these four peaks. Are you going to do the same thing you did last season? <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe later. Honestly, it's, just... it's it hurts to say this about a mountain, but the way to do it would be to clear out these three peaks and just make it kind of flat for the castle. No, just build amongst the peaks. Or See, you and I built. You and I, you and I built completely differently. <laughs> we could make it so this is the communal area. So this is where we would make the dragon temple equivalent to season one. True. Which which you you have one hundred percent confirmed that you saved the file right and and you do, you just start holding on to it just for fun. Wow! Look at this! Look at this stuff. river over here. This is so <laughs> cool. <laughs> you know that 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 spawn temple that I spent hours. Oh my goodness! That's well. Cool. At very least, yeah. That I was about to point out down there. Um, at very least, we do. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we have it. Almost. Okay. I would. I'm close to almost saying almost certain. But we at least have videos of it. We can make this. Oh my oh, goodness. I was, I was really close. hoping you would... Ooh, okay. So close. That's like a block or two. I just love that this is a new river biome. It was totally... I don't remember people talking about them changing the rivers. Yeah, just a couple mentions oh, of them being course. wider. But this is like... It's like yeah, an ocean. Not an ocean, a, a lake. Yeah, it's what but it like, be. or what a river actually is. Like rivers really are supposed to be 
Yeah. This. But watch. you know what? You know what I was thinking. Uh, no, I actually don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Odd. Cool. I usually don't know what you're thinking. Cool. Good to know. Yeah. This is good talk. No, what I really was thinking is, you know, what is the obvious change now? Uh, <laughs> again, change. again, I don't know. Okay, okay. look <laughs> at that okay. mountain. Look at that mountain. Yeah. Look at this mountain. Look at the scale of that river, and then um, 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 no. oh, trees. Trees need to be bigger. Yes, trees. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, look how dumb they look. You know, on the, on the landscape. We can. You're right. You are right. No, no, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking. We can totally. That's why I want this forest gone, is because it doesn't make sense. But like from Mojang's perspective, the trees make, do not make sense. When in you go into team. the forest, you feel a little more claustrophobic than you should. And the trees just don't work. Like those tall birches work. And like this would be this would be a groundbreaking I guess change. <laughs> I guess that's why I love the um, redwood biomes because they feel. I don't know if you've been in one recently. But they feel just so epic. And I guess it's because they match the terrain. Yeah, I think so. I think Mojang has walked into a problem that is an awesome problem because it'll be an amazing solution. But. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't deserve that and saw it coming. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is rare. Pick it up. Look at oh. durability. What? Zero. Zero. Wait, Doc in one of his videos ended up finding a piece of armor or creating by accident a piece of armor with zero durability. Of course, here's your bamboo and, back. And if Doc was super confused. Hey. Here, do you want do you want Hey Do you want, do you want all of it? There you go, there's all no. of it. Hey! <laughs> no, you can, I was gonna give you one, but actually, I'm full up on space. <laughs> My goodness! At least I it's not twelve bamboo. bamboo into sticks. Wait, you? Oh! Oh, it's all gone. <laughs> oh, that was actually the bamboo. I thought you were trying to troll me. Um, do you do you have bone? You don't have any bones. Nope. <laughs> oh, just plant it, just plant it. That, that thing grows, like, so fast. Whoa! Okay! <laughs> I did... <laughs> I I've never been spooked by a bear. What the heck? Okay, I honestly didn't think it's, like, that fast. <laughs> this is quality content right here. Is. So there you have it. We're going to be settling here. And I'm really excited about it. At first, I was a little apprehensive. I wasn't sure, especially about the ugly savanna biome being right there. I wasn't sure if this was the right place. But the more we talked about it and the more plans we made, the more I appreciate this location. So when you're trying to pick out a location to settle in Minecraft, don't just take the landscape at face value, it's always good to understand that you can change the land as much as you want, as long as you have the patience and the time to do it. Anything here can be modified. Oh, looks like the bamboo has grown. Uh, so, for example, we've actually had a few ideas of how we're going to modify this place, terraforming-wise, which I'm really excited about. So, as I've said, the one thing that I was concerned about this area is this massive savanna biome. Um, the problem with it is it's just, it's, it's ugly grass. As builders, we want nice, lush, green grass, and this is not nice, lush, or green. Um, it's sort of that olive color, it just makes the whole place feel dead, and we weren't sure about it. But the more we talked about it, and the more we looked at this, we decided we really like that cliff face right there. We love the look of that, and so we decided, why not expand it so why not expand it along the line of this ugly savanna grass and that way what we're going to have is a, a pretty geographically 
accurate cliff face with nice green lush grass down here where the moisture is being locked in and then up on the top sort of a high desert feel is this dead looking olive green grass and some maybe withered bushes or something um obviously this would be a lot of terraforming the the mountain is would have to be covering this entire area right here um and have to connect these two mountains together to create a cliff face uh, if we want to do the back of it as well, then it would be a lot of more work back there. But I think it's going to be worth it. I really like the idea of this season really leaning into a lot of terraforming projects and make it look really nice instead of just doing some builds and taking the landscape um, as we have it. Another cool idea we had involves addressing how this river ends. As you saw, we really like how the river works, but it just sort of ends here or starts here, however you want to look at it. And the way we're going to make that make sense is we're going to basically probably move this waterfall and make it bigger and put it basically right here, carve out a huge trench right here. You can see it's already naturally kind of started. And then what we can have is water flowing down from the high desert area um, and coming down and starting this river down here. I think that'll look awesome. It will explain this area a bit, give it a bit of geographical history. Um, and it's ultimately going to bring all of this together. I think we can really turn this whole savanna problem into an epic looking awesome solution to bringing all of this landscape uh, together, giving it a story and making it per perfect for all the builds we're going to have. As for where I'm settling within all of this land, I've sort of decided to be on the other side of the river with the mountain on that side and just going to clear out this forest here. It's it's a nice flat area once the trees are gone and once I've done a little terraforming and I don't have to clear it all out at once. I can just clear out a section, build my house, and then clear it out as I go um, from there. Now my house, as I mentioned, is going to be sort of a Victorian style country English manor um, and I've mocked up a design for it in creative mode, which I'm really liking. It does require a lot of bricks. So I have spent quite a few hours off camera back at the lush caves biome, just getting tons and tons of clay, smelting it into bricks, and then turning those into bricks. And I'm hoping this will be enough for at least the initial structure. It is sort of going to be a starter base, but it's going to ultimately expand and expand to be my actual base. And on that note, before we end this fairly short episode, I do want to do a really quick PSA about how I'm uploading these videos. Basically, Minecraft is not a full-time job for me. It's not even a part-time job for me. And so I only can play on this server when I have the time um, or when I have the interest for it, when I'm not doing something else that I consider equally or even more important. Um, I also don't want to make videos just with whatever content. I'm not going to upload a video unless I actually have something interesting to show you. So for example, hours of mining for clay and smelting it into bricks did not make it into a video because that's incredibly boring. The mounds of copper I'm going to have to get for this build aren't going to be there. I want to only show you the interesting stuff. All of that to say basically that there may be quite a few days or in some cases even weeks between videos or I may be uploading them one after e another, day after day. It's just gonna depend. So if it takes a few days or even a week or two for me to upload a video, it's not because I've quit the server or anything. I am gonna still be uploading videos. I'm just curating the content to make sure it's worth watching. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for today. I'm really excited to start on this build, less excited to gather all of that copper, but really looking forward to you guys seeing the start of my base. If you really like this video, please give it a like, that would be awesome. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.